Alright everybody, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Zamboni Simulator 2019, which is supposed to be an experiment in existential nihilism as told from the perspective of resurfacing. I've never drove with Zamboni, I've never even seen a Zamboni. The only ice I know of in North Carolina is in Charlotte for the hockey team and I've never seen it. So, this should be a learning experience for me. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to find the start button, but I'm lost. Try harder button. Hey. I was about to say, I don't know where the start button is. But we found it. I'm kind of excited. This looks like it has a really interesting story. Oh, the rink is ahead. Let's go. Can I jump? No. Chapter 1. I'm actually kind of excited to drive the Zamboni. I've, st I've been to a hockey match. Not in North Carolina, but... I saw the avalanches in Colorado versus the Penguins. It's kind of loud. It's like, ah. They're cheering for me. They're cheering for me as I say, I what it was like to oh. walk out of the ice and feel pride, a sense of accomplishment, but now just emptiness, a dream of a former life. How do I drive? Ah. This is awesome. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm Zambonian. What happens if I hit a wall? We're gonna hit the wall, boys. Boom! Ah, uh, it just stops. Okay. Let's hope it for like explosion or something. How does one Zamboni, dude? This is kind of hard. Like I can't see in front of it. Zambonian is hard, my dudes. Is this like mowing? Do we go all the way around and then like circle in or something? I don't know. I feel like we're doing it. Music in this game kind of goes hard. Hopefully it's not yeah, too loud. I guess I have thought about killing myself. But who hasn't, you know? I've always been turned off by dramatic acts. I don't think I mind being dead, but I also don't mind being alive. I feel like I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as an afterlife anyway, because I don't see the point in finding out. Can I turn down the music, bro? This dude's banging on the piano as loud as possible, and I can't hear... That's better to... Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, I'll skip to when I turn the music down, because it's hard to hear what he is saying with this bong, 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 bong piano. God dang. Bong, bong, bong. I remember what it was like to walk out of the ice and feel pride, a sense of accomplishment, but now, just emptiness, dream of a former life. I guess I have thought about killing myself, but who hasn't, you know? Though I've always been turned off by dramatic acts. I don't think I mind being dead, but I also don't mind being alive, I think. I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as an afterlife anyway, I just you know, don't see the point in finding out. Watch what I learned how to do. <laughs> um. Man, we are Zambonian up a storm, aren't we, though? Is this for hockey? This looks like kind of like a hockey ice, ain't it? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I guess the white areas are places I've already Zambonied, and if they're darker, they have not been felt the wrath of my Zamboni yet. I wonder if there's like hyperspeed. Can we get upshift or something? Uh, the shifters don't work. Oh, uh, no, we need, we need to lower it. Oh, did I raise it? Is there a reason to raise it? If you resurface the ice too much, does it like collapse and I die or something? Is there a reason to raise the ice resurfacer? I don't know. One shall never know. Man, this seems kind of hard to steer. Turn. And I definitely can't see in front of it because this huge thing in front of me. Being a Zamboni person is not all it's cracked up to be. It looks like it's a... Oh, I ain't gonna say anything. I was about to say it looks like it'd be a pretty easy job, but... 
I know nothing about zone voting, and I'm probably the last one to talk about jobs being easy. Especially if I don't know what it is. Man, we need like hyperspeed, boy. Hit that gas pedal. Do I have to actually hit every little piece of ice on this thing, or did it just as good as I can get it? Thanks for watch. Watch how wide these turns are, though, on this bad boy. Look at this. Yeah, turn, turn. I don't think there's a chance in this game. Is that it's not really my fault. I mean, I'm not it's even sure things can have faults in and of themselves. That seems a little too convenient. And clearly, actions of consequences equal and opposite reactions. Life is just like chemistry and physics. Ethanol blocks neurotransmitters of the human brain. An object leaving the hand follows a predictable arc. Man, I wish there was hyperspeed on the same bone. I think what I need to do is next time, the next level, I'm already too far in this one to do it. I think I need to go in full circles around the rink and make the circle smaller instead of trying to do these in like back and forth lines like I'm doing right now. I definitely missed a streak way over there though. I'm hoping the game will let me pass if I get enough of the same, like enough of the ice surface instead of making me get every little piece, but I have no idea. I know nothing of this game except this dude seems to be really depressed while he like laments on his Zamboni. that star. Oh, it's a light. <laughs> the stars are looking down upon me. I am the chosen one. The Zamboni master. We're almost to the end, boys. Yeah, this thing is so slow. I wonder how many levels are in this bad boy. This could take a long time. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> with me covering the same ground or whatnot. Yep, turn. Warp speed, boy. tried to tell her. I missed on purpose. I said, why would I waste good bourbon on you? I like the wall better than I like you. <laughs> but the clatter, the clash, the noise, I guess it scared her. It really riled her up. You know, so now I'm here. Jesus. I'm just here. Being a Zamboni, bro. this thing to go faster. I'm a simple man and the only thing I need is a faster Zamboni. I guess that's probably the hard part of this job. It's pretty mind-numbing how slow this thing goes. I feel like it would get like really, really boring. Well, I don't know because this looks like it'd be kind of fun to drive to at the same time like in real life. I don't know about on video game. In real life, this seems like it could be pretty sick. I wonder if he has to wear ice skates while he gets on the Zamboni if he wears regular shoes. They'd have to be regular shoes, right? You wouldn't want to be sitting on the chair with the ice skates on, I don't think. These are the questions we need answers to. Where's our local Zamboni expert? Oh, we're almost done, but now I gotta fill in all these little spots on this because I can't drive. Interestingly enough. Did I hit that spot right there? Let's make sure we hit it, because I feel like we got to do everything. Turn, baby, turn. Do I turn faster if I turn my camera to the right as well? Don't know. Space key to speed up time. All right, I think we did good enough, actually, without doing all the spots on this, like right over there. Do I have to leave the Zamboni once I've cleared the ice enough, or do I... Or does he do it automatically for me? Okay, I feel like we've Zambonied enough. 
Can I get out of the Zamboni? No. Okay, I'm stuck. I can beep. Okay. Apparently the Zamboni decides when we get off it. Good to know. Fun fact, we are held hostage by the Zamboni. <laughs> what a load of baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Zamboni baloney. I missed that spot. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my gosh. It's turn, baby, turn. Yeah. This is going to be a long playthrough. I can feel it in my bones because it looks like you actually have to hit every little piece of ice. And uh, guess who can't see if I'm hitting the ice or not? This guy. Oh, thank God we can exit. Drive the same boat out. Get out before it's too late. Okay, we don't have to hit every piece of ice. Just almost all of it. Go, Zamboni man. Go! I'll see you in hell, ice rink. Did I actually take the Zamboni with me? See y'all on the flip side. Oh, we did it. Try harder again? Marks about his manager's appearance were rude and unhelpful. We understand a Q91 was merely projecting, but it was hurtful nonetheless. Tough. Not on probation, so that's good, I guess. Day two, baby. Just me and my Zamboni. It's a big Zamboni, dude. Demotion? What? Better not be demote me. I need my money. I have a, a girlfriend that's mad at me or something. A wife, maybe. I don't know what she was. It's not like some chick was pissed at me, but I was really trying to focus on the Zamboni driving. So, who knows. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Look at these stands, dude. This is so nice. Peaceful. I just wanted a drink, you know. I messed up my best shot and that'll drive anyone to go overboard. Dream job gone. Marie on my ass. A one-year-old who wouldn't hardly let me sleep. It would make anyone want a few. Yeah. Does have a kid. And of course, never one to argue against myself. I had a few. Genius. A uh, few after. This is how he's Amboni. Just admit it, you're an alcoholic. There's only a few things wrong with it, depending on your situation. I drink a lot of alcohol, but I can admit it. <laughs> so is Kay. As long as you're honest with yourself, kids, and you're not a violent drunk, that's really important. Not being a violent drunk, still functioning, while you're drunk and when you're not drunk in everyday life. Well, still functioning is optional. It's, it's hard sometimes to function. Functioning is hard sometimes. Especially when you're not drunk. I think I function better when I am drunk. Oh yeah, this is definitely the strat right here. Going around in the circle and just like making it smaller and smaller, that's the play. That's how we do. That's the Zamboni play right there. The little snot who's riding on the Zamboni with me wouldn't just shut up. My okay. head was snot. pounding. I told him where he could shove his Gretzky trivia. He's, he's not called a great one because he was forgettable. I floored the Zamboni into a wall. Thankfully, these things aren't too fast, but it did leave a dent. The little bastard cried to his mom. She didn't seem to like me much anyway. So this guy was an ex-hockey player? Does everybody that Zamboni is an ex-ice hockey player, or does ice skaters do the Zamboni as well? I have no idea. Well, I'm sure there's probably Zamboni people that weren't in any of the sports, but... Huh. So he ruined his shot at being a hockey player, I guess. Has a wife that doesn't want him drinking, I guess. And he has a kid. <sighs> well, I guess it could be worse. I'm sure he'll tell us how it is worse very soon. So stoked. This piano is going, it's amazing. It's actually pretty dope. 
Pink, pink. Oh, we missed a spot. What the world? How did that happen? Yeah, but I think this is the play, though. The circular zone in. This definitely looks a lot better than it did last time, and it seems to be going Tammy faster. Tammy fired me. You can see the words on her lips. She was about to do it, but she's a bit of a softie, and boy, was I a pitiful sight. I think it helped that Marie came in to pick me up with Joshi in tow, so Tammy demoted me instead. Back to nights I went. I, I didn't mind. I'd been there before I'd done that. Titles are dumb anyway. Yeah, man. Fuck the system. Zamboni combat's the only way I live. <laughs> Running people into the walls. Why is working nights a Well, I guess if you have a family working nights, it's probably tough. I was about to say, why is that a demotion? They have him ride the little Zamboni so he can't wreck anybody no more. That's a, that's a real demotion. From big Zamboni to little Zamboni. Oh, you can reverse. Let's go. I just did that on accident, but it was awesome. Did you see that? I think I go faster backwards than forwards. Felt like I did anyways. Should I just go around the ring backwards? No. That's not the right way to Zamboni. Maybe it is. Is that the right way to Zamboni? Is backwards faster than forwards? It kind of feels like it is. Huh. Maybe it feels like that because the engine in the front's so long, maybe. Or maybe it is fast. I don't know. I'll stop speculating. I wanna know! Okay, I feel like once I get this line, I'll be good to go. I think it is faster, dude. It really feels like it. Punk. <laughs> Dang, I missed that spot again. Holy crap, how bad can one Zamboni? Oh, but if I go backwards though, can I actually hit spots when I'm backwards? Cause I, then I can actually, oh wait, I got inverted controls. But then I can actually see what I'm hitting. Let's see, interesting. I think you can, dude. I think you can hit it while you're going backwards. And then I can actually see where I'm going. That's big brain. Is that what the Zamboni drivers at? No, they don't do that because the wheel's up here. I guess you could, but probably not practical in real life. But yeah, I don't have to worry about this big old engine in the front if I can look backwards. Why would I ever raise? I guess that's for realism. I don't know why I'd raise the ice for surfacer. <laughs> Chapter. Oh, let's see what happened now. Employee Q91 showed up to work drunk today, braided a child, and crashed his Zamboni. He's darn lucky we don't fire him. Hmm. Come on, Tammy. It is Tammy. Tammy keeps giving me bad notes. Tammy, we are fam. You can't get rid of me. Are those notes, like, about what he's talking about in the chapter? I think so. I think so. We'll go backwards. Oh, wait, he's not going backwards. Oh, I gotta turn on the engine. This is genius, boys. This is a play. So Janine's ex showed up at the house one day. Janine. I was halfway living there by then, staying over most nights. I really started to bond with her kids. But, of course, her ex swoops in, and I'm immediately forgotten. Discarded week-old leftovers. Okay, he didn't seem so bad. He thanked me for hanging out with his kids while he and Janine were on the outs. Condescending prick. Yeah, but I got the message. Huh. Who's Janine, though? Did we are, are us and Marie, like, already done? Are we done done? What about our kid? 
life of a Zamboni driver is fraught with peril. Driving backwards feels a lot better to me. Being able to see what's actually in front of me. I don't think it's actually faster, but it definitely feels faster because you don't have the engine in front. I don't think it is. See how long it took me to do a full round. I don't think it's slower either, though. This was a sign of personal growth. I'm kind of struggling to piece the stories together because it always seems like each day is a completely different story about his life. Like Marie and then... I don't know. The first day I can't remember what happened because I was so focused on driving. I know he was talking about how he ruined his dream job, which I guess was playing hockey. And then the second day he's talking about, I guess, his girlfriend or his wife that had a kid with him. Now there's some lady named Janine, who I don't know if it's like uh, a fling. I, well, it has to be a fling, right? And then he gets tossed to the curb by her. But what happened to Marie and her, his kid? Did they leave him when he got demoted? Because that'd be kind of savage. Kind of messed up, actually. Many too many whiskeys later, I ended up on Marie's front lawn, absolutely certain about the pointlessness of existence. I felt she deserved to know. Marie appeared at the door saying that she just called the cops and I had a few minutes oh, before I'd get there. I got my car to leave, but it took me too long to remember how to start the damn thing. One step forward, two steps back, what's past is prologue, all that. I spent the night in the drunk tank and missed my next shift at work. Ah. Uh, yeah, so the notes are definitely... Well, actually, I guess they're a preview of the day that's about to happen. Because I think I got in trouble for showing up to work drunk or something. Something, something. People are mad at me. Life of Zamboni driver is hard. Just start turning already, because I know this is a sharp turn. Boop, 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 boop. We are so good at Zambonium, though. I'll see y'all later. Day three complete. I mean, characters having to run a bad luck. There's too many things going on. I get too many bad notes. Try harder. Oh, we're on probation now. Sick. For three years. Wow. Employee Q91 missed a shift without calling in. He used his one phone call to instead check movie times for his day off. Okay, so definitely the note is actually previous. Um... Basically, the day that we just went through, I think, because that's where I got arrested and I was drunk when I was talking about Janine. The day before, I guess I was drunk when I showed up to work because he was talking about having a few drinks when Mary and Marie and his kid, whatever was going on with them. High school. Flashback, baby. This is going to be great. Nothing could go wrong in high school, right? Psych. High school was rough, man. Especially if you're a weird kid like I was. Jesus Christ, man. I look back at that and it was very cringe for me. That was not, that was not the play. College was better, but high school is not the flavor. For 
for kids that are not, uh, I guess, I don't know. I just was not. Oh, man, high school. Yeah, high school was pretty good for me. Ah, I good was for you, a man. star, starting right wing for the Hornets. I'm sure you saw the papers back then. We were unstoppable. Oh, back then, I spent very few Friday nights alone. It was a pretty big school, and I cut a, a, a swath through it. I was even scouted at one point, but not much came of it. Hmm. It wasn't in the cards. Ah, oh, so he had a great high school. I guess, uh, that sucks. His life went to crap after a great high school. My life did the opposite, I guess. Life got better for me after high school. Because high school is not good if you're strange and social anxious and not very good at talking with people. Makes high school freaking hard. Interacting with people is the difficult. But it's one of those things you can always get better at if you want to put forth the effort to it. But it's never easy. Do, do, do. But I'm glad at least he had one great point in his life. According to him, he seemed to really enjoy high school. Good for him, man. Good stuff. I could cut a swath through the crowds of people in my high school. That's what he said. I don't even know if I had enough people in my high school to be a swath. I think my class was like the biggest class to ever go through school. I graduated on time, which is about all that can be said about that, so I took a job at the rink. Ice resurfacing technician, junior grade, for the tundra. <laughs> Joke of a title, but there you have it. The girls disappeared. The friends. Everyone. I married the first woman who was interested. Why not? It's what people do, right? Ah, uh, some people do that. I would advise it. I feel like that's a mistake. But, to each their own. Some people marry the first people they meet, and I don't know, I feel like you should get some experience under your belt, see what you like, see what you don't like, so you can find someone you actually can deal with, but what do I know? That's why I'm not married with a kid, unlike our pro tag. Struggle. these spots. That's what the people do, right? No, not many, I don't think. Well, actually, probably a lot of people did that I know about where I live. Some people it works out for, some people it does not. Shockingly. struggle to figure everything out together. Neither of us exactly came from good homes. My dad beat the hell out of me and well, let's just say her dad was worse. But the way I saw it, graduating high school was something above expectations for both of us. We did okay at first. Huh, well that's... Sounds like it went well at first and then it went terribly. Oh well. piano jams. He has a nice calming voice though, so that's something he's got going for him. Good job, man. Now if you could just stop drinking. I wonder if he's still with his wife. He had to get a divorce, right? Because now he's messing around with Janine. Well, was messing around with Janine. He ain't messing around with Janine no more, but he was. Give me that green check mark, baby. Oh, no green check mark. Hell yay. I wonder if I can drive out of here backwards. Today's the day we find out. There's not much going on in this game. 
I like the story, I guess. It's a little bit hard to keep up with, but it's alright. I guess it's not hard to keep up with. I'm just getting thrown around by like where we're jumping around from one thing to the next. And then that, uh, and it goes so fast. I can't, oh, these are all the old ones too. Employee Q91 informed me of his distaste for the new uniform, saying the old one was just as good. He tossed the new one in the trash and clocked out. Am I fired? I acknowledge receipt of copy. I'm now on probation again. Jesus, how many years passed? Because I was on probation for 900 and something days, right? Okay, whatever. Dope. Not on probation. Chapter 5. You're fired. Oh, relapse. Oh, no. Not the relapse. This music changed. We got more upbeat piano now. The climax. Tell me a story, my friend. Tell me about the stuff and the things that went wrong in your life. I'm here for you. Maria got caught up with this albino Urkel looking guy she met on the web. Mikey won't shut up about him. Ted took his pity about him. Ted is afraid of Fox. Ted stayed over three nights last week. You'd think the asshole cured cancer for a living. I tried to pick up an overtime ship to get Josh at this Call of Duty thing that he keeps asking about for Christmas, but Tammy gave the ship to Eric just because his mom's on dialysis. Ted just bought the game for him because it was Tuesday. Says Josh, you can join his clan and they can talk to each other on the headsets while they play with all these online weirdos. Ah, damn. Attacked. Well, I don't play Call of Duty, so I guess I'm fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, Call of Duty people. He said it, not me. Um... But yeah, he's got kind of like a bad attitude, man. Like, damn. Feels like he's having a hard time with taking responsibility for what's going on in his life. And like trying to improve it. I mean, some situations just suck, but I feel like his situations are kind of... Self-induced. To be honest. But, eh, whatever. It's good that he vents to the empty Zamboni stage with the player. But isn't Ted the guy from Liar Liar? Isn't that the dude that's uh, getting with <laughs> uh, Jim Carrey's wife? I think his name was Ted too. I feel like the plot's very similar to that. Except this guy is no Jim Carrey. My buddy Jack told me that Ted needed some sense knocked into him for trying to play dad. Bang on Marie's door and Ted answered in a row, which uh -oh. made it worse. I told him to stop defiling my kid's mom and I gave him a good one. Crumple on the ground and then the floodlights. <laughs> the milk toast loser conceded after all. He brought the cops to a fist fight. Ted thanked them and then asked them not to charge me. The police report triggered a reinstatement of the restraining order. No visitation, no joshing. Three days until I would have had visitation. No one cared about the four months I'd been good. One slip up and it's back to square one. Man, you gotta know better than that, dude. You an adult now. You can't just go around punching people. <laughs> Lord almighty. Stop to following the mom of my child. <laughs> what? <laughs> I bet that dude was shocked as hell. He just got he just got getting it done getting his freak on. And this dude just fucking shows up at the house and beats his ass. <laughs> oh, he need a robe too, so he defenseless. Like, he ain't even dressed. <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny image if you actually think about it. Poor Ted. <laughs> I started to lie on the ceiling fan, kicking the chair under me across the room. I barely started to feel the loss of air when I heard the bang of the fan hitting the floor. Can't even deconstruct myself. A failed failure. And now I need a new ceiling fan. And a new drink. You need to stop drinking. You drinking should not be an escape. Drinking should be a fun pastime. If you're doing it as an escape, you're fucking up, son. Sometimes it's good to get the edge off, but damn, you should not be doing it as a necessity. 
When you say I need another drink, that's when you mess it up. It should be I want another drink. <laughs> you say I need another drink, you're in a bad, a bad way, boy. Pro tip. Yeah, he has, he has a pretty rough, but I, yeah, like I was saying, I feel like this character's, all his problems are really self-induced from not being able to grow up, not being able to move on, making situations worse. And he has all this time to reflect on it because his job's just a repetitive Zamboni night. It always sucks when you have so much time to think on your hands. And life's rough. Employee Q91 showed up one hour late and disheveled with what appears to be drywall in his hair. However, he performed his task adequately and the tardiness was the only thing to note. You are on probation for 122 days. Ah. Well, I mean, that's not the worst. The fact that that's a little thing shows that this is going bad, because he's given up. Junior college. Ah. Junior college was not great for me, I bet. We are getting better at driving the Zamboni, though. Backwards is the way to go. I do highly recommend that. After high school, we got into a routine. I like routines, you know, it keeps me from thinking too hard about any one thing. Yeah. I was content, but Marie said, more like stagnant. She got her nursing associates and said that I should at least try something professional. I told her it was a stupid idea. Why pay money to have somebody tell me I was dumb? I could figure that out on my own. Well, you don't have to go to school. You could learn a trade, man, something. I mean, if you want to be a Zamboni driver, I guess there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you can make a living on it, but... Ain't nothing wrong with trying to figure out a trade, either, if you want to make some more money. I don't even know what Zamboni drivers make. He might be making some bank. I don't know. I have no expertise in the Zamboni. We don't even have ice in North Carolina. This is like fake ice. Or man-made ice. Got more ice in my refrigerator than we get during Christmas. <laughs> For real, though. I do feel like I am qualified to do a Zamboni work now, though. So that's something you get from this game. You get Zamboni experience. It's kind of like riding a lawnmower. That's what it feels like to me, anyways. We have so many levers we don't even use. Unlimited power. This is only like one twelfth of our power. If we started kicking in the levers and stuff, boy, oh, we'd be going. We'd be going with the speed. I don't think there's any achievements in this game. If there are, I haven't got any. Oh, she kept on me. She begged me to at least get a sales certificate through some correspondence course. I said it was a scam, but she wouldn't let it drop, so I did it. If only to keep the peace. Yeah. <sighs> Do you have any goals, man? Because I know you wanted to be a hockey player, but I know that fell through. So what other goals do you have, my dude? Like, goals are important. Like, what is our driving force? Need something. I guess to see the kid, maybe? Joshy? Joshy. Steer! Yeah! Music went back to what it was. 
Cause it's going pretty ham last stage. This stage. It was around this time that Tammy promoted me at the rank, giving me the day shift. I got to do that whole smile and wave thing during intermissions. I always enjoyed that. My sales career was over before it began. I was now the most honorable ice resurfacing technician, master grade. Still a stupid title, yeah, but I enjoyed the work. Uh, so you are sad that you lost your title from doing crazy stuff. Ah, feels bad, man. Maybe you can work back up to it. Is that your goal? Maybe you can work... We can be better. We can go back to being the ice rink technician master. Think happy thoughts. We can do it. We can fight. We can win. We can do it. To go home. Have a good night, ice shrink. Boom. Look at that. I'm gonna raise the thingy because we're going home and I'm a professional. That's how we do. Kind of bothers my OCD that I don't have because the Zamboni starts in the middle of the rink and we have to drive a line to the outside, which makes it uneven. Employee Q91 abused his position to demand fealty from the new IRT junior grade employee S14. S14 swore fealty and was ordered to raid my office. S14's right up to follow. What the hell? Probation for seven days. We gotta get him. Time is flying, dude. We had a dude join us? <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's funny. Swore fealty. Janine! Oh, that's a chick. That ran me out and then called the cops. I patched things up with Janine. She's a new ice girl at the ring, quite pretty, even for a woman her age. I gave her kid Cody quite the scare a couple weeks ago. Cody's around Joshy's age. I apologized to him again for our first meeting and he said not to worry. We were chill and the ride was sick. That kid talks weird. <laughs> So we're back with Janine again, or is this like a flashback? I guess we're back with Janine again. That's cool. I guess. Hopefully that... He doesn't sound too depressed though. I mean, he sounds like he's really upset with how his life's going, but he don't sound like super depressed. He just sounds kind of like pissed off at the world and how things go because he does dumb things. I'm gonna bring Joshy over to Janine's once I get my visitation. The inner kids hey. can play this new game he's been bugging me about. Something or other duty. It Call should duty. be too long now. A few more months of good behavior and the judge said that we can revisit the issue. No, things are looking up before they look terrible. Yeah, so something in storytelling is in games like this where we're talking about depression, what I've noticed is when things are starting to look up, 
they come crashing down. I'm sure most people have noticed that by now, but that is something that usually happens, and I believe that's what is about to befall our protagonist, the Zamboni Master. Master of Ceremony for Zambonis. Well, I guess he's not anymore, but he was. King Zamboni. He has, he has a minion, so I guess that's something. It's kind of cool though. He's still trying to, at least he's still trying to see his kid. <laughs> After he beat up Ted in his bathrobe. He had it coming. Teach him not to dick the, <laughs> the birth giver of my child. Jenny and I have settled into a bit of routine. I head over to hers after work, get some jack, and do what adults do. On hey. days off, it's pretty much the same, except we start out at a nice little dive I know down the road from her place. The only snag is her ex. I know as well as any that we all have exes we regret. Let's just say that I am an angel by comparison. She says he's a good dad, though, and I definitely don't want to ted the situation. I will be better than that. Huh. Ted, the situation. It sounds like we kind of are tedding the situation already by uh, doing what adults do with her. Because that's basically all Ted did, and then like get your kid a gift to win him over, I guess. I won't give your kid a gift, don't you worry about that. <laughs> I will do the first part. I will not do the second part. You are totally dicking the birth giver for child. His child. Seems very Ted of you, bro. This is a Zamboni driver and welcome to my TED talk. Or if your name is Ted, I'm just going to deck you for living your life. <laughs> your life with my ex-wife. Day number eight. It feels like we've been driving the Zamboni for years, which we definitely have with the probation dates. Employee Q91 was caught fraternizing with an employee CB, CB1. It was very public and very inappropriate. CBL1's right up to follow. Probation again. Hooray. I'm surprised I haven't been fired yet. That Tammy chick is like a saint. It really needs workers. Must really need workers. Fraternizing. Sobriety. Let's go. Okay, maybe we're going in the right direction. No way this fails. Moving on up. Oh, I went through the wall. Whoops. If you're going backwards, you can go through the wall. Pro tip. I've always been suspicious of people's reasons for change. They often cite some supernatural event or near-death experience. But I began to empathize. Well, oh, maybe not empathize, but understand. Sobriety is a beast, but I'm just taking it as it comes. I requested a, another custody hearing. The judge saw the beginnings of my improvement and granted me supervised visitation. A start is something. Let's go, dude. I'm so proud of you right now. You're taking, like, responsibility and fixing your life. You're the shit. Hopefully, you don't have bad luck while you're trying to do this. Because that's always makes people want to fall off the wagon. But I have faith in you. You seem to be doing the right thing. Good job, man. That's the Zamboni master that we know and love.
do 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 This game is quite tedious, so I wish there was a way to speed this up somehow. Well, I guess I could speed it up, but it would speed up the dialogue too. I could use that cheat engine like I had to for uh, the realism mode and left on red, but... Courthouse, I said goodbye to Joshi, and I thanked Marie for giving me a second chance. I told her, nobody is nerfing, and she left, just like oh, she buddy. was used to. She begged me to take this seriously, but she did it with a smile. At the time, I thought I could prove to both of them that I was changing, and that I could be a good father. Oh no. Sounds like that's not what happened, because he said at the time. Well, damn it. No, we'll have faith in our main character. He's he's on the right path. He can do it. You can do it, sober man. Sober Zamboni man. I believe in you. About my bedtime Zamboni man. You gotta drive faster. Like three in the morning. Do 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 do. Work had even gotten better. Tammy saw my effort, and while I was still working nighttime post-game resurfacing, she gave me some shifts and concessions. I saw hmm. that woman with the Gretzky brat and paper concessions hat in hand. I apologize to them. Her response was colder than the ice out on the rink. I'm not sure why I felt compelled to talk to her, but Tammy mentioned afterward that the woman had applied for a job here. She's kind of cute, too. Huh. Who's he talking about being, you know, Tammy? Tammy said there was a woman that applied here. He apologized to the kid. I'm confused about that sentence. My brain's dead. I'm so tired. I just think this shouldn't be as hard to put together as it is for me right now. But I, what I got from that was he apologized to Tammy and the Gretzky kid that was hitting with all the fun facts and shit. And somebody was applying, a female was applying for a job there. And she was cute. I don't know if he's calling Tammy cute or the chick that was applying for a job there. Or was Tammy, or was he talking about when Tammy was applying for a job there, maybe? I don't know, man. I totally missed that sentence. I'm struggling. You decide. Maybe there's ten chapters. Ten's a nice, good, even number. We're at chapter eight. It's interesting telling the story while you're doing something that's really simple, but driving the same boat is getting tedious, man. After like 50 minutes of driving it, it's, it feels like I'm actually doing the job, kind of, without like any physical work. Employee Q91 ignored my request as always to wear a seatbelt on the Zamboni. He claims he's incapable of crashing and therefore it's unnecessary. Alright, well we got another probation. Cool. Chapter 9. Post-college plans. Oh. dare you not ride a damn Zam seatbelt, bro. That's how people die. You could get, like, flung off the Zamboni and ran over or something. Maybe. I don't know. Sounds possible. Doo -doo. The music changed again. Celebrating, 
I'm here. I don't need that chicken shit head bullshit, Mr. Holier Than Thou, actual oncologist. I swear to Frank, see, I'm going to block that guy one day. You already did. Or is this a flashback? Who's Frank Z? What's an oncologist? It's Frank Z, the guy that says, that's how the bush baby do. Ooh, that dude that does all the animal videos, because that dude's awesome. If that's Frank Z, I like him. He's hilarious. Z Frank, that's the guy I was thinking of, not Frank Z. Maybe that's who he's talking about, though? That's how the Zamboni Master do. team out there. Except Texas. I'm still pissed at Texas. Huh. Well, at least you have a goal, man. Hopefully you sent that before you started slacking off at work, though, because I don't think your references are going to speak too highly of you from all the papers we keep getting. But this could be speaking in the past when he just got out of college. No idea. You don't have to get every piece of ice, so you just have to get most of it, which is good. But you have to start at the bottom every time. That's oh, nice, you made it. Memorizing team facts and, and history. I wanted to really impress them. It turned out to not have mattered. They had a different model of Zamboni, one that I wasn't used to, and I couldn't start it. I mean, I figured it out eventually, but I was dead already. I was thanked for my time and returned home. It really drove home the futility of effort. That's unlucky, man. not futile though you can keep applying dude and now you know how that model of zamboni works and next time if all the nhl teams use the same zamboni you'll be ready so it wasn't futile you learned a new experience now you know how to drive their zamboni that sucks though <sighs> you think they would be more understanding but i guess it's a pro league, man, so I guess they're probably not too forgiving. They need exactly what they want for success. Uh, employee Q91 did not stay on the straight and narrow. The duty of all ice resurfacing technicians, and thus his lines were wavy and uneven. Well, we're not on probation, I guess, for it. So we're just sucking at our job now, I guess. You 
never gonna make the pros like that, homie. Chapter 10. Sobriety 2. The sequel, the much anticipated sequel to Sobriety 1. you pushed yourself in some bad situations in the first place. I feel like there was a point when it was up to you and you just made it where it wasn't. Ah, I mean, you're probably still not past the point of return, so as long as you keep sober and keep trying to, like, better yourself, I'm sure eventually you'll be alright. But, I mean, the situation you're in, outside of, like, not making the hockey pros or whatever you were trying to do originally, that's not your fault, but dang. Some people are born for like sports and some people are just not good enough. But everything else you kind of did to yourself. Marrying at a young age, divorcing your wife because you didn't really have any ambitions and just kept uh, drinking when she didn't want you to. And then punching Ted when you just got done having sex with your wife when you shouldn't have been there in the first place really. said that letter you suggested I write to Marie. It said that I'm yeah, I sorry my actions have affected her. She may interpret that as she likes. I know the letter was more for my healing, but I felt she ought to know. Janine left me a voicemail that her ex has left her again. She nice. says that she is sorry and that she wants me back. I know you suggested I cut out the toxic relationships and I took your advice. I returned a bag of her stuff to her new job at the bowling alley with a note that said that I just wanted her to live her life. It was all one can do. Is he talking to me? Am I like a therapist that rides on the Zamboni with him? I guess? I don't remember giving him any of that advice, but sounds like we gave him pretty solid advice. Good job, us. Wow. Way to be a hero. definitely just keep putting you on the back burner for that X. That would, that's definitely not worth messing around with, to be honest, man. That just sounds irritating as hell. I continue driving in circles, alone in the dark. Wash, rinse, repeat. You call it Zen, call it one man's Sisyphean desire for change, or, as I do, call it meaningless. Or maybe not. Who knows? God, I want a beer. Anyway, thanks for listening. Same time next week? Yeah, man. I'm here for you. Just hit me up. I feel like this is getting to the end of the game, though. Hopefully it doesn't do anything dumb. But I wonder if... Like, he's breaking the fourth wall. If we're actually, like, a character that's near him. Or if he's talking to us on the phone. Or, like, what's up? Or talking to whoever he's talking about. I have no idea, dude. But yeah, the fact he's asking about next week, I don't know. Boo. 
surprised we didn't pop the thing yet. The check mark. Same time, same place next week. There we go. And we're out of cheer. Make our final exit out from the bright lights. Maybe. Uh, uh. Oh, yep, that's it. Employee Q91 has recognized the futility inherent in man's struggle against the void. Beginning and end are the same. Failure and success are synonymous. He should start again. Thanks for playing. Perma Ice Rink. Tamlitho Pearson Ice Rink Manager. Oh, well. Well, we didn't kill ourselves, so we did good. We beat it. Game created for the Philosophy Game Jam in three days. Aaron Hecht and Scott Thune Elias. And Daniel Uhlenberg is the narration. Carl Mine. Terry Miner or Kari Miner. Additional writing, Kevin Grant, Joshua E. Music, and Kyle Lewis, Mix Slash Mastering. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. We're gonna see what happens when we cook it, but I think I'll just start over. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I do truly appreciate it, as always. Alright guys, yep, back to chapter one.